What's up guys? It is Tech Tuesday. I'm coming at you from New Orleans. New Orleans? Nolens. And today I'm actually gonna be talking about the 360 Fly 4K. This is gonna be a little bit different because how do you really make a 360 tech review without having it in 360? So there's a link up here and at the end and in my description if you wanna watch the 360 shots. There's a lot of really cool 360 cameras out here, and this was the first one I ever picked up. And it's not that hard to use. It comes with this cool charging station. It's another way to get your stuff into your computer. It's pop it on. Some other cool things about this is it's waterproof. It's threaded so that you can put it on a tripod, and it's just got this one 360 camera. It's amazing that it has that little tiny thing and it shoots all of that stuff. It's also got a little microphone, which is terrible. You don't really like the audio with it, unless you're talking directly into it. So it comes with this cool little app. I think you gotta connect to the Wi-Fi. What is the password? I think it's, I think it's always 0000000. 000 000 000. I can't believe I remembered that. So once you're connected, you go into the cool app that they have. Make sure your Bluetooth is on. And then there you go. And what's cool is you can control this whole thing from your smartphone. And it's like, Put it in video mode, you can make time lapses. I'm gonna do all that stuff and show you guys, so make sure you check out the next video with all the footage from this. And then I'm gonna actually take it a step further and show you how to edit it in Final Cut Pro. And it's kind of a... It messes with your brain because you have to think, but I'll show you exactly how I do that. Once it's on, you just press it once, and that means it's recording. Let's do a 360 video of New Orleans. Let's talk in the microphone, maybe. Microphone right here. What's up, guys? What's up, guys? Well, shooting with this thing is super easy. It's what comes next that makes it really tough. So start by connecting your 360 Fly to your computer via the USB charging station and drag the movie files over to your computer. Then, in Final Cut, you need to start a new project and change it to these custom settings. 2280 by 2280. Then drag your files onto the timeline and it acts just like a normal project except different. But you can make your normal cuts and edits, add text, but you have to remember it's 360. So you have to make it visible in all the ways the viewer could be looking. Then you can add music. I like to add some ambient noise because the mic just does not pick up the sound very well. The 360 doesn't do that great in low lighting, but you can add brightness. Next comes the tedious task of exporting. It's quite confusing. To get this to work with your 360 Fly software, you have to export it as an MP4 or keep your current settings and upload direct to YouTube. But it takes a while to process while uploading, so don't expect fast results. I can't say this is the best one or not. This is the only one I've used. And there are some pros like ease of use and a fun, cool result, but the cons are like the poor audio, low light, weird distortion on your face when you're holding it and walking, and the software is terrible. Luckily, I can use Final Cut to edit it with these settings. There you have it, the 360 fly.